y'all welcome to the channel my name is Beth and today we are decorating my tear trays for Christmas let's get to it all right so here we've got these three tear trays this one usually goes in our kids bathroom this one normally sits in our kitchen and this one normally sits on our dining room table I might be changing that up a little bit here today and then here are some of the items and pieces that I hope to use in redecorating. This um, box set here I got from the Target dollar spot. It was $5 and I thought it could be really cute on a tear tray, either all together or broken up or maybe not at all. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and get this project started. I'm going to start by quickly clearing off the trays and wiping them down really good so we can have a fresh, clean start. Oh my goodness, inside it's got these two. Oh, it's a little block. That is so cute. One, two little block gifts. A little bee jolly. A bell. And a Santa. Oh my. Hey guys. Robert, would you put this in the trash, please? Yes. Thank you, darling. Because this is going in the kids' bathroom, I want to keep the wash your hands. Look at the little star detail hole. Oh, those are so cute. Okay, let's see. Santa. A little Be Jolly. And let's see if we just stack the little gifts. Let's see. Let's do this. One, two. So I need something that I can put under this. Let's see. This might be even better. That is going to do it. Where it'll sit on the bathroom counter, you'll be able to see the sign. Oh, that's so I did pick up this piece new this season. I really love the red color. And I knew that it would look nice. I thought about maybe putting it for in my hutch, but I think I will like it on a tear tray better. So. These two tear trays are going to be more kitchen themed. One will go here on this table and one will go on our dining room table um, in the other room. So I don't really know. I guess now is the time to decide which one's going to go where. I normally keep this one in the kitchen and this one on the dining room table. So maybe we'll just do that here still. Okay, so I really like these greenery balls. It's, a, it's called a floral. A floral accent. This one came from Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99, but I did not get them recently, so who knows? You know, all prices are kind of increasing these days. I don't know how much this is now, but I paid $4.99 for it a few years ago. They came individually, but I bought three because I usually keep them in pots in my, tier, in my hutch over there, and I needed three because I had three pots, a set of three. 
Okay. All right, you guys, I bought this. I bought this set this year recently because the jam and jelly it came with um, a couple of spoons as well they're red and i got them because i recently started canning and have been uh, learning about how to can jam and so not i will probably never use this this is this will just be for display but i thought they were so cute so i'm going to try to incorporate those so on our dining room table I'll probably put this underneath. I like to have a separation between the table and the tear tray. I think it looks nice. And let's see. Also on that one, I need a salt and pepper shaker. So let's do these. These are, this is a set I found at Target a couple of years ago. I really like how it's a neutral color winter. So, you know, we can use it after Christmas because it's just snowy. All right, and then let's see what else can go. I like the home. I like the home mug because it is our, we, you know, we live here. Let me think if I have another mug I could change out for. I think I think home is good. Okay. And I like to I like to add greenery kind of as a filler. It just fills the space nicely. Let's see. <clears throat> No, we're just gonna have it, we're gonna tuck it right there like that, like this. Okay. And farm fresh trees could go there. Or since that says home, we could put a little house and that's kind of cute. Yes, I like that. Okay, now this tear tray well both of these actually will be able to be seen all the way around so we have to make sure that even on the back it looks good my mother-in-law is she's no longer with us and i like to keep little pieces that she made or things that remind us of her i like to keep them around because we miss her very much so i like to keep her keep her presence and little, you know, tucked in throughout here and there. I'll probably put this around back. She was very crafty and she loved the farmhouse style. So, okay, that looks nice there. And then also, we need something else. Maybe this little candle holder. That looks nice. And then, oh, I do have, okay. I've got this little toothpick holder. Now this is not Christmassy, but um, it says just a swallow. And this little shot glass belonged to my grandparents and they're no longer with us as well. So, you know, I like to keep little, little sentimentals where I can. All right, so I think this one's done. This one will look really nice just on the, on the dining room table. And I might play around with that or I'm not sure if I'll add anything else to it. I really just like to keep it decorated nicely, somewhere nice, somewhere to keep our salt and pepper. So I think that one's done. Now let's move on to this one. And this one is going to stay right here on this, on this spot. So we can just, style it here. When I style this one, I like to keep it so that this is the front facing part. So, but I'll style it this way first. 
Oh yeah, Merry Christmas. And also a salt and pepper. I got this at a local boutique. I've talked about it before in a previous video, but there's a little boutique local to us. It's called Sweet Fig Market and Gifts. They have such cute little things. So anyway, this is a little salt and pepper set I got from there. It's nice. Let me put you that way. And because we are in the kitchen, I got this bright red and a nice greenery behind. I think I'll, I'll put uh, my kitchen timer here. I got this, I picked this up from Target. Um, this is from the Magnolia um, Hearth and Hand line. It's perfect for a tear tray and it's, you know, I can use it. I use it often. Robbie likes to use it actually. All right, and let's flip you around and add our jam and jelly on here. I think that'll look nice because it coordinates well with the red on the other side. And we'll put the little spoons in there. Again, we got a little bit more red. This is an ornament. Ornaments do really, really well on a tear tray. Oh, that looks nice too. I really want to incorporate this, but I don't want to put it where it's going to fall. I'll put it here. This little, I have this little wooden, 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 a uh, mini cutting board. Could be nice, just as a little elevator. Maybe, let's see if that does anything or not. Maybe it could just be a backdrop for the Merry Christmas. I like that with a nice smooth, it contrasts nicely with the texture of the greenery. I like that. Okay, and then I do want to incorporate this piece, but it might be a little too much. Let's see what else I can do. I, maybe that's not going to work. Let's do, okay, so on here we have Merry Christmas and red. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. I think that looks really nice like that. Okay, I like that. And this, I also like, I like, I like to use the um, Moscow Mule Cups because they offer a nice color, a shine, and texture. So that texture is really close to this one, but <clears throat> I think it's still pretty good. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how cute. Look at how cute. I like that a lot. All right, so we're gonna center it here, right under the light, facing this way, because I like to have this be the front. And we have quite a few pieces that we're not using and that's okay. We don't have to use it all, you know? I like it. What do you think?
When I finished recording this video, I decided to add a few ribbons to the tear trays and they coordinate with the ribbons and bows that I tied into my hutch. If you missed my Christmas Ray Dunn hutch video, I will be sure to link it below.